guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and I'm talking about KOTOR 2. Now, for those of you who remember when Aspire announced that KOTOR 2 was coming to the Nintendo Switch, they announced that they were going to bring the restored content to the Nintendo Switch eventually, right? Well, apparently that's been canceled. And now we have a clash action lawsuit. I'm not going to mention names. You guys can read about it in the GameSpot article in the description below. But apparently the clash action lawsuit is for false advertising. Now, is it false advertising? Now, guys, I actually do have a law degree. I graduated from law school, but that's in the Bahamas. So I'm not exactly sure when it comes to class because... In truth, in law school, I didn't focus too much on tort law. I actually think I did well in the class, but I didn't really focus too much on tort law, which is more like civil disputes and stuff like that, I believe. But does this guy have a case here, in my opinion? I think he does. See, they announced the DLC they were planning on bringing to the game with the game announcement. So they would ha Aspire would have to know that a lot of people would want to play that game or buy the game because they want to play the restored content on the Switch. Some people may have even never played the restored content mode because maybe they don't game on their PC. So maybe they're finally looking forward to playing the restored content mode and then they go and cancel it. See, had they just said, we are just taking longer than we thought to make it, then I definitely wouldn't say there's a case here. But since they actually canceled the DLC, something that was a big part, I believe, of a good amount of games that were sold, I really think there may be a case here. And truth be told, the plaintiffs aren't asking for much because they are apparently asking just to cover their attorney fees and cost and then to force Aspire and Sabre to cease and desist from selling and distributing KOTOR with deceptive and false advertising and then also to receive such other relief as the court find just, equitable, and proper, including but not limited to the remedy of disgorgement. So... They're not really asking, they're not, they're not like going out there and asking for two million. I mean, it seems like these people just really just want this to stop because the thing is that this isn't the first time we've seen this, I believe, where companies make promises or at least make statements and then they don't follow through. Like, guys, I do believe it needs to stop. Like, I believe this is the problem. A company should not be making an announcement so far ahead of where they perceive they'll be able to bring out the product. I just don't think so. I just think that it's a mistake because if something happens and then the project or DLC or whatever never comes out, like, what? You get all these people excited for nothing? Like, at least if you announce it when it's like maybe a few months away, if something happens, you have something to work with because you've been doing this for a while. But if you announce it, right, and you haven't even really started much of it yet, and then something happens, you're like, well, we can't really continue this because we got like this happened and this happened maybe we got other stuff to do that's more important like so what i'm saying is that i think these game companies need to stop announcing things so far ahead in advance and and hopefully this will teach at least game companies like let's actually get a foothold before we actually make the announcement or something like that because yes aspire did offer them a free star wars game like star wars republic commando on the switch Star Wars The Force Unleashed on the Switch, or co another copy of Knights of the Old Public 2, but for PC via Steam. But, but I gotta admit, that's not enough. No, no, I'm sorry, because if you tell me, oh, I'm going to bring out this big, big, big new feature for this game, and that's the reason I buy the game, and then it doesn't come out. Like, really. You know, I, I mean, Aspire announced the restored content, I believe, to sell more copies, and now it's not coming out, so... I do think they may have somewhat of a case here. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think this whole class action lawsuit has any chance? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.